Hey babes, so today's video is a what I eat in a day video. I'm so excited to do this video for you guys. I know you guys have been asking me to do this video for a while, but with my 9 to 5 job, I couldn't really do it properly and I really wanted to go through everything I was eating and why I chose it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel and if you guys want to get notified for all my new videos, please click the notification bell and also make sure the two ticks on the bell are turned on. Today is not a gym day, so I'm not going to the gym today. I'll be going to the gym tomorrow. Normally when I go to the gym, my eating is a tad bit different. I definitely keep my proteins more in mind. I keep my carbs a little bit more in mind just because I want the energy and the protein is really good for you after you work out as well. Currently, I'm on a 1300 calorie deficit. You guys are probably like, you were eating 1500 calories before. Yes, I was eating 1500 before. That's when I was working out about three times a week. Now that it's winter time, I'm only working out twice a week. It is harder to get to the gym. And for me, if you, if you know that that's just what's working for your lifestyle right now, then just adjust your deficit. So the more you go to the gym, the more you can eat. The less you go to the gym, the less you can eat. That's just the trade-off, that's just how it goes. So we're going to be starting off with cooking breakfast. It is exactly 9.13 right now. I normally get up around 8.30 and today I put a little bit of makeup on because I'm gonna be taking photos a little bit later. I think for breakfast we're gonna do some eggs with some spinach and a little bit of onion. I really like having that. And we're also gonna do a little bit of toast and some bacon. I mean, who doesn't want bacon for breakfast? If someone told me I couldn't have bacon on my deficit, I'd be like, I don't want to do it then. Today I'm going to show you guys a couple of tips and tricks where I can cheat the calories a little bit and it will just help you guys out with your deficit. So let's get started with our breakfast and I'm so excited to show you guys what it looks like. So I'm going to be doing two eggs. So here's one of my tricks. I'm only going to be using one of the yolks. I'm not going to be doing both of them. Uh, generally an egg is about 70 calories if it's a large egg. If it's a smaller egg it's about 60. The reason for that is the yolk actually adds a lot more calories. It's around 30-40 calories extra. I'm going to put the full egg of this one in here. The next thing we're going to do is cut up some spinach. I like to put a good handful inside of there. My trick is I just grab one of these kitchen scissors and I just chop it up in there just like that. I love to add veggies anywhere I can in any of my meals, especially during breakfast because breakfast I don't really eat much fruit or anything like that. The next thing we're going to do is add a little bit of onion in here. It's just going to give it a little bit of flavor. I just like to do that and chop up just like that around it. So we want to add a little bit of garlic powder, so I'm going to put just a little bit in there. This is to help it give a little bit of flavor. Of course, some salt. Now we're going to whip it all up. I'm also going to be doing a slice of toast with my meal as well. This one is by Little Northern Bakehouse. This one is gluten free and it's 100% plant based and egg free. And with this one it is 70 calories per slice. We're only going to be using one slice for today. Another thing I look for when I'm getting bread is I always make sure it has some grains or seeds. I have to show you guys this bacon. I think you can tell that I like it because the package is basically done. It's back bacon by Lou's Barbecue Co. I'm so, so happy I found this. So with this one, it's only 22 calories per slice. Bacon is something that can definitely go like above 100 calories a piece. That's the bacon that we're gonna be using today because it's super deficit friendly. I'm just preheating the kettle here so I can make my morning coffee, you guys. I'm very serious about my coffee, so that definitely needs to be warm. by Earth Balance. It's organic and it's also vegan. So this is the one I've been using lately. I actually cannot even taste that it's vegan to be honest with you guys. It tastes just like real butter. Okay you guys, so the last most important step for me is my coffee. So the coffee I'm going to be using is Instant Coffee by Nescafe. The rich one it really does have that rich taste for sure. So what I do is I just put a little teaspoon of that in there. Pour my water almost halfway because I love my coffee with a ton of milk, you guys. I have to have a lot, a lot of milk. I'm going to add in one of my stevia packets. You guys might recognize these stevia packets because they're the ones from Starbucks. Yes, I am that crazy and I did order them online because I really like their stevia. The good thing about this is when you're using this, you're actually using less calories in your coffee because a spoon of sugar is already adding a good 25 calories and this is adding absolutely zero. 
The next thing we're going to add is a ton of almond milk. This is the one I love to use, the So Nice Almond Unsweetened Organic Milk. And I like to just put, you know, a whole bunch of milk in there. I like my coffee nice and light. So that's what breakfast looks like, you guys. My spinach omelet with a little bit of onion and a little bit of flavor. And then I have my toast with my vegan butter and my two slices of back bacon. And the most important part of my breakfast, my coffee. Hey babes, so I'm just checking in. I just finished doing some work. I was taking some outfit photos for you guys. And I was also doing a little bit of editing, and after this I have to go back to work and do some more editing. I just wanted to show you guys how much water I have been drinking. So right now it is 12.34, and we're almost at a liter and a half. I like to drink a liter and a half by 1 p.m. That's kind of my goal every single day. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I like to stop drinking water at around like 8, 9 o'clock if I can. I will link this water bottle below in the description box. I have normally three liters. If I go to the gym, I normally get about four to four and a half. I love those days. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this guy up all the way to the top again because we need to be drinking some more. And if we can get more than three liters, then we've definitely reached our goal. I'm gonna put 1300 calories minus 265. So we have 1,035 calories left. So I will check in back with you guys at lunchtime around like three o'clock, I think. And, um, and I'll show you guys what I'm having for lunch. Okay, babes, so it is now 2.42, so it's getting close to lunchtime. So here's an update on our water. Our water is almost done, and we have about 600 milliliters left. Um, and then I think I'm gonna have a little bit more after I'm done this, because considering it's almost three, and I've already had almost three liters, we wanna drink as much as possible. So today for lunch, we're going to be making a pizza. I actually have this recipe up on my channel. I will leave the link below so that you guys can check it out. I love this meal because it's so super quick and easy to make. And you can also make it very low calorie. And I also love that it's a great excuse to put a bunch of veggies on top of your pizza. Um, I'm trying to include as many veggies as I can every single time I eat. And I think this piece is gonna be very Mediterranean Greek inspired. I just pre-measured some shredded mozzarella cheese and this is actually 120 calories. We're gonna be using this pita bread as our bread. It is whole wheat. So we're gonna take one of those and we're gonna put it flat down on our pan here. We're definitely gonna need some tomato sauce, Kalamata olives on this one, spinach as well. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some oregano over top. It's so funny because I just realized that this is like the third outfit that you guys have seen in this video. I like to change so often. You would think that if you're at home, you would just wanna be like in your PJs all day, but I just like to change. So yeah, this is my third outfit. I'm gonna go ahead and make my pizza, speed it up, and put it inside the oven. until our oven gets to 400 degrees and we're gonna pop this baby in and it's only gonna take us like five seven minutes until it's ready okay so I have to show you guys this this is a tip and trick so this is what I'm gonna be serving as a garlic dip sauce with the pizza so this is a horseradish aioli and I got this one at Whole Foods and what I've done is as I keep using it I just add a little bit more water into it, it kind of lowers the calories Amy gave me that tip Okay, I'm gonna pop my pizza inside of the oven and wait for it to brown up a little bit. Look how delicious our pizza looks, you guys. I'm just going to put on the side our horseradish sauce now. I'm gonna go and eat up my pizza now and take a little mini break and I'll see you guys at dinner time. Hey guys, so now we're in the evening time getting ready for dinner. This is where we're at with our water. It's basically done. So we have had our three liters. As you guys can tell, it's a little bit darker now. I'm like struggling to get this like bright lighting because now it's the evening time. So we're gonna get ready to prepare dinner. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm having. I prepared actually last night, I actually showed you guys on Snapchat, a roasted chicken dinner that I actually recently just discovered. I love it so much. 
so easy to do. I'm gonna do a recipe video, don't worry. It's a perfect, perfect meal prep recipe to be honest with you. So for my veggies today, it's gonna be sauteed sweet peppers. So in this container, I have my roasted chicken and potatoes. I have my sauteed sweet peppers. I have the leftover sauce from my roasted chicken. And of course, my rice, my turmeric rice. So I kind of have an idea as to how much I want to be eating, to be honest with you guys, because I've already pre-calculated. So today I've already had 715 calories with our breakfast and our lunch, so now I only have 585 calories left over. And for me, I like to make sure that I have a little bit left over at nighttime for my coffee, very important. You guys, we made it. 85 calories left in our deficit day. We made it. Another day has passed and we succeeded. So when I have a little bit of extra calories left, I love to use this guy. It is a vanilla almond creamer for your coffee. It's so good, you guys. It makes your coffee super sweet. It has that perfect vanilla taste. I'm gonna go ahead and make my last coffee of the night and then we're just gonna relax and chill for the rest of the night. Maybe do a little bit more work. Okay, babes, that's basically it for my what I eat in a day video. Hopefully I taught you guys a couple of tips and tricks and I had so much fun actually going through this entire day with you guys. I think I will definitely do more in the future and show you guys other meals that I like to eat during the day. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And if you guys want to get notified for all of my newest videos, you guys know what to do. Click the notification bell and make sure the two ticks are on at the side of the bell. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you babes in my next video. Oh my God. Coffee's my drug of choice. Bailey, can we just like maybe, you know, chew a little bit lower? The problem with doing these videos at nighttime is the lighting, you guys. Horrible, horrible, horrible. And I, Ben, 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 no.